Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fablehame and Eratus, Wrath of the Necromancer and Eternal Harvest 3. We resume our journey after a significant amount of science in the cathedral. We lost our fair lady in Sekhmet. One of them was dear to our hearts, and the other, our entire hypercarry plan. So we've come up with a new plan, and amongst that plan, we lost La Mujer Aranya. And, we didn't lose anyone else, but we discovered that 56 evasion for good old Sartharial, the Shade, is not enough. And so, I have a new plan, and it's even crazier than the plan before, so, uh, bear with me a little bit. I'll explain how this works. So, because we lost Max suggestion, La Mujer Arania, after she's been sitting here for so very long, we got her, like, on episode 2 or 1, and she was, like... A candle that flickered in the wind and disappeared. And so, for my <laughs> for my next science conduction, I'll be going with the final suggestion I have written down from Mac, La Parca, which means, or is in reference to, the Grim Reaper in Spanish, apparently. And I actually have a funny story I found on the internet about this. La Parca is... In reference, like, the way the word came about to mean Grim Reaper is it's referencing Roman mythology, the Parse, Parque, whatever, the three sisters of death. Morte is the sister who cuts the thread or whatever to kill something or end something's life. And that somehow became Muerte, which means death in Spanish. And so death, the Grim Reaper, death the figure, is usually referred to as La Muerte, the death, or La Parca, referencing the sister of fate that was the killer, the death. I don't know how true that is, but I read that somewhere and I thought it was fascinating. So here we have La Parca, who is another Grim Reaper. You may be wondering, why am I using two Grim Reapers? Well, it's not for the meme this time. You can see we, are, we did not equip the hourglass. Because my plan with La Parca is I was thinking, what was Chazakiel doing? I mean, besides evading every single attack in the world. Besides that, he was applying an AoE magical attack. It was doing a little bit of sanity damage to try and provide additional sanity damage that would proc more of the Scythe of Oblivion. So even though it was only like maybe 30, per 30 missing sanity, it would still help Suflatus swing someone's head off. Well, I can just do that with magical damage. <laughs> and of course, the Reaper has the Spectral Wave, which can be upgraded into the Energy Wave, which I've been told to give a second look because it's not as bad as it seems. So we have La Parca. I did some gambling off camera. We have three rare pieces and one legendary piece. And I'm probably going to spend 80 Digger Souls to upgrade this one. Sure, why not? But instead of just doing it and then telling you all what I did, I figured we'd go through this together so that you could see the full thought of me picking these abilities, and also, that's 124 stat points. I wanted to share the experience of the, of uh, throwing those all away with you. So, his first attack, Dissection. I love, 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 hateful Dissection. This increases the Wrath Generation by 50%. Kind of wonder if we should try Soul Dissection, though. This restores mana. The mana recovery is 25%, and the Wrath recovery is 50%. Hmm. Serve me well, my minion. We'll stick with the Wrath because, of course, we have two very Wrath-hungry characters. The Energy Wave upgrade from Special Wave to Energy Wave. It's an ever so slight damage increase there. Agony. We are going to continue going with the Agony of Fire, even though I don't expect La Parca to be using it at all. For Drain, uh, we picked Expunge for Suflata, so let's go with Desiccate. This ignores Block and Wart. And also can be super helpful. <laughs> for uh, the instances where Suflatas can't use it because he doesn't ignore Black and Ward. For this, we're going to go with Reap the Maelstrom. Definitely. I love Reap the Maelstrom. I think Reap the Maelstrom is the way to go. Six more spell power. Mm. And for the Scythe of Death, we're going with the Scythe of Oblivion to improve its scaling and give two more attack. This is almost a sight to behold. I almost don't want to spend 124 points. But La Parca is not going to survive if I don't. So, one point in accuracy. We are going to cap, block, and ward. 
It's already slipping away. We are going... Uh, Laparica is going to be in the second position. That's his home. So we are definitely going to be putting a lot of points in defense. By a lot, I mean... Ooh. A lot. Okay. Then we'll have some attack. 20 armor. Can you survive La Barca? I can't believe how... Plus 50 accuracy? Are you kidding me? There. Have some more, I guess. As for the items, I lamented not using the Drop of Divinity. It felt bad to have the Drop of Divinity in our inventory and not be using it. So, La Barca gets to use it. This reduces all damage received by 15% and increases all damage dealt. time and proper ingredients. It does, by 15%. I also equipped the Essence of Mind. Mana is a problem when you're spamming out Infectious Lunacy nonstop. And that was one of the reasons the Shades were in the original build was because we needed mana regeneration. So now we're going to hopefully be using Energy Wave and Scythes to restore that mana. Now, in a perfect world, Suflatus will be sending out all of the Scythe attacks, but Laparica can do it as well if that is necessary. One more. One more Spirit Spear. Additionally, now that we are cut, we've moved entirely away from the stress plan, we don't have to be afraid of enemies ever becoming inspired, because the only sanity they're going to lose is when I crit them in the face, which does do a small amount of stress damage. And of course, uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. I still haven't decided. Just kidding, I think I have. The steel spikes here. This is like trash level stuff. You can make this right out of the gate. Three armor, boom. Alchemy get into a steel spikes. I'm thinking of getting Karnania the warrior bones. We're going to see how these really perform. This reduces physical damage received by 50%, but increases the magic damage received by 25%. Just don't forget that Karnania's stack of bones is also incredibly powerful. For each 10 points of vigor missing, the damage the bone golem receives is decreased by 2.5%. So when we miss 100 vigor, that's a 25% damage reduction. That's why Vigor is so freaking important on Karnania and why I really want the spirit armor piece, please. I want it so bad. All right. We are waiting for Calcination Mastery. Technically, we don't need this. We don't need it. But it's not like we need anything else anyway. Look at all these... Look at all these pieces. You love to see it. It's beautiful. All right. Well, with our new plan, let's go and slam. Elite champion. Cavalrymen and elite priestess. I'm scared. Okay, maybe I'm a little scared. Now we've learned. We've learned. I forgot you get two turns. That, uh, there's only one target here. And I think we all know who it is. It's this one. Yes. I'm gonna do this. I could wait, technically. Okay. I didn't mean to delay. Uh, I might have screwed this up. We'll see. I meant to <laughs> not cast the spell, but shoot them with the energy wave, because, yeah. Oh, no. Well. Let's see. Oh, good. Being born was your first mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> Your life. I'm not quite sure why the Finger of Death gave me Wrath there, but I'm also not going to complain. Hello. You don't really care. I can set you on fire. Is that fun? <laughs> Is setting you on fire something I'm interested in? Not really. This is La Barca. 
dealing 8 damage. Impressive. It's an impressive amount of damage. I might just outright kill the, uh, the priestess here, actually. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I could try and remove more of the ward. <laughs> yeah, that's not going very far. Set you on fire right quick. Death predestined. Let's see. My dear Zatu, show me how it's done. Alright. Well, I asked. Ask and ye shall receive, huh? That was... Madness manifest. That was a lot of damage. I also didn't use any wrath. So not this. Why are you so much squishier? Actually, I know. Wow, really? We're just just gonna do that? This is Suflatus. Death predestined. Bring me his head. Okay. Oh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. So, uh, a little frail. We did have additional lifesteal thanks to the quest. It's no goal, but it will do. Uh, should I be concerned? I feel like I should be concerned all of a sudden. I do feel quite alarmed. Uh, saving. Need more data. Saving. More data required. Alright. Hey look, a cultist. I was talking about shade, but I don't think we're going to be using the shade at all. Uh, we could get another bride thing in case Satu explodes, or a second stack of bones in case Karnania explodes. Or maybe a good item, a good consumable. Believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, Mana Crystal is actually a really good consumable. I'm going to believe in the heart of the cards. We have an elite... What is this called again? I can keep on calling it Guildmaster. Uh, the Hunter thing. Elite Royal Gunner. Elite Standard Bear and an Elite Paladin. I'm actually kind of afraid. Ah. Uh, we'll Skull Torch. Actually, Suflatus. Yes. Have some initiative. That's super greedy of me, but you'll see why I did it. <laughs> Greed is good, until it's bad. As for the weapon. Do you want to see how much wrath we can generate per turn? Actually, Finally, this item finds its way into my capable We're fighting hands. a lot of stuff that we don't normally fight. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, Paladin. Where's Paladin? Do I not? Okay, I knew it. I knew I had the card. Ah, maybe I don't need the destruction mall. It embellishes my undead features, no? Let's just generate a bazillion wrath. I'm sure that'll be fine. Alright. There's one character here that I don't like. Ready? Sent? Death. Goodbye! Uh, before I kill him real quick, though, the Royal Gunner has the highest accuracy in the video game. Challenged only now by the Amazon on the next floor. Sitting at 198% accuracy. Basically, he can't miss. You know, without reducing accuracy and whatnot. He receives 25% attack and 10 luck after every turn. It stacks and is removed by him changing positions. He will escape if he is the final remaining squad member. And his shtick is that he enters a stance that will attack a random target after every single turn. 
and I am not a fan. So uh, let's get rid of that right quick. We'll solve this problem before it even begins. Which is why I gave Suflatus all that initiative. Because I didn't, I didn't want anything to do with that. The Paladin stance is completely irrelevant to us. I am now mildly concerned about the armor and resistances and stuff. Because we don't have a way to remove that. We don't particularly need a reason for a way to remove that. But, uh... You know. Uh, actually, the Mercenary Captain, is that what he's called? Yeah, the Mercenary Captain is actually quite frightening. He is not someone that I would want to upset. Madness manifest. I'm just going to go in. We're just going to start slapping. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't... Hmm. No touch, Santu. We have too many targets to kill. I think you can just off with his head right now, Suflatus. Hope they will still be. Oh, you're so close. Well, my stance will go through. Oh, you got him. Uh, I can't guarantee this crits. Which is what I would... I'd use that if uh, I was going to kill this. That's fine. This is Suplantis again. Ooh. You're so tanky, bro. Why you gotta be so tanky? I believe. Kill, my darling, kill! I'm just gonna take some damage here, it's fine. Oh, okay. Suplantis, you're not allowed to die. Laparca is way more durable than you. Of course, Laparca has no... <laughs> hmm. How do I want to do this, actually? This is fine. We'll get the, the healing and the mana recovery. I have full mana, so don't need to do anything. Fate! And... Oop. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Mine is the winning side. We had a lot of annoying enemies there, and we dealt with it pretty well. All things considered. <laughs> oh no! I had to just say something, didn't I? All right. Ooh, I can get Through this. transformation, the will becomes All right. free. So now after we calcinate, which is restore mana using alchemy, we will gain 15 spell power. Ooh. Now what are we doing? I guess now it's time for destruction. It's probably in my interest to get blood curse. Probably. Probably. Me. Let's do some fun stuff, shall we? We can stun targets, but we can't stun the boss. Me. We'll think about it. We'll let that accumulate over time. Suflatas. Pretty sure I'm not spending any of your points. La Parca, same as you. One more turn, or one more level up, and we will have very useful stuff. I'm not using this acid gland. It's no gold, but it those can all be do. sacked. Okay, I wanted to make this the explosive mixture. I'm probably not going to use this. Uh, this legendary. Oh, I thought did I have no hearts. Yeah, that's totally not worth. Wow. My parts collection is not so good. We're going to use that. Um, I can make some vulnerabilities, sure. Why not? I do like the vulnerabilities. 
<laughs> more crit damage. More. You can never have enough, really. Alright. I feel pretty satisfied right now. Berserker potion could be hilarious. I don't have any things to use here, do I? No. I definitely want the mana crystal ah, for the boss. Because a free finger of death is always funny. It's never not funny. Death. Predestined. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. We're still fine. It's fine. I should delay. The reason I say she delays is because she enters a stance that is super annoying. Oh yeah, this is the Elite Light Elemental. She is the construct for this floor. And wouldn't you know, she's more annoying than any of them put together. Yep. <sighs> Can't be removed. I don't even know why I tried. Thankfully, I can't do any damage to her. Do I want to deal with this? I guess. Well, that kind of means that I can't... Ooh. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. I have found myself in an awkward position, wondering... Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Death predestined. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. Ooh, hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Uh, hopefully we can survive out. Survive just fine. You're dead if I do this. This goes away this turn. Stop two can kill you. Oh, the armor absorbed all that. Nice. Ow. This should kill you. And we can still reap. I need the Wrath, but I don't need this. My brain is working overtime at the moment. Don't you dare. Okay, that's fine. Good. This is my kind of entertainment. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. We can take a moment to breathe. Unfortunately, it looks like Suflatus and La Parca have swapped positions here, which is not ideal. Okay, this is even worse. <laughs> but that's fine. Everything is fine. Huh. Now that's gonna leave a mark. I had to think about this. I'm still thinking about it, technically. Death Please, predestined. Show me what you're made of. Okay, that's pretty good. I have made the correct decision. Okay. A little tricky that Mop one. Up the gore. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. So I know I've mocked the warding pendant in the past. I've even tossed the warding pendant. You know, to the dark gods and everything. Uh but I think I'm gonna use it. Yes, finally. Max block, max vigor. Booyah. I'm afraid for your safety. 
Max armor, max resistance, max vigor. Now I feel like we could do something about that attack. But that's fine. Don't forget, I'm basically distilling after every combat. And that is giving me 10% increased damage and 10% reduced damage. So... <laughs> Well, I was going to be a little tilted if it was the Ashes, not going to lie. The Salamander Skin, any character that attacks as many receives 40 magic damage. The Boiling Blood, also known as the YOLO Solo item. For each unfilled squad slot, the minion receives 4 armor, 4 resistance, 14 attack, 14 dread, 4 evasion, and 6 accuracy. And the Leg Cuffs. The minion cannot be moved. The Leg Cuffs are actually quite useful. The problem, the problem, is that I... I, uh, I guess I'm going to take it. I'll take it as tribute. But we're, we're taking a lot of damage. We're being hit for a lot. And this takes up an item slot. You know? I feel like on Eternal Harvest 3, at least, you can't do that. All of your item slots are being used for something much greater than yourself. Doing the good news and the bad news. This fight's gonna be real bad. This is gonna be a hard fight. As if it wasn't already hard enough. So here's the trick with this fight. Every fiber of my being wants to do nothing. But Finger of Death the Zealot, which is this guy. This guy right here. This is the support-ish character on the floor. And his support ability is that he makes people invincible. But my fear is that if I Finger of Death him, I'm going to give the champion his 25% damage buff, and the champion is going to slap my face across. But slap his two Assassin's Creed weapons across my face. So, against my instinct, Death. we're killing the champion. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. So now we're going to see how screwed we are because of that. Might not be screwed at all. I might just be able to chain this all together. Boop. He does that too, it's really annoying. All right. Might be wondering, what are you doing? Why did you save your turn there? Well, don't think about it too much. Weakness. If I crit, I kill him. But hey, I met with my Q. If my lung piercer thing crit, I would I would kill him. But uh. Then. I was kind of hoping that I could finger of death again. Ooh, that was a mistake, bro. That was not in your best interest. If I do this, can I say? Yes. Yes, I can. I don't have to, though. Omega Lil. Holy crap, that... I'm so glad I chose that Wrath Recovery, because that is insane. That, like, changes everything? Mostly everything. All right, my dear. Show me how it's done. You will soon embrace your new existence. I could have waited until after the Priestess's turn, but I didn't want the Zealot to do something. I didn't want the Priestess to heal. There's so many things I didn't want to have happen. It's just... I took the kill. And I don't regret it. I regret nothing. Death predestined. Nothing. Nothing. Mana. See? I regret nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set you on fire now. Um, This could be bad. I shouldn't have done that. Yep. Oh. Really? That much? 
You hurt me a lot, lady. I'm gonna kill you, but <laughs> I just wanted to put a band-aid on Suflatas. Alright, goodbye. Well another step towards my eternal kingdom. I go too bad. Do I want to throw away this Jester's Visage? Part of me wants to throw away the Crowpaw. Behold Brain's too weak. Work. This uh, late in the game. Suflatas. Alright, Laparka. Congratulations on being the first full legendary character. And you only got one attack upgrade because of it. Okay, it's fine. It's... Fine. Something to note, or something that I find interesting. Oh, the wrong spirit piece. <laughs> All minions and enemies gain 18 evasion until the battle ends. There are a few enemies that this would give 100 evasion. And that's no bueno. The Iron Heart, Erratus gains 24 wrath at the beginning of the battle and the Ring of Decay. At the start of combat, all enemies lose one block. Of all of this, the Iron Heart's the most useful. Ah, I can use this. Something that I've noticed. There was a lot of discussion early on in Eratus's lifespan. Well, okay, so originally, the minions, their stats would kind of grow by themselves. It wasn't until their final vision of the stats that you could actually manually manipulate them. But even then, they have some stats that you can't manipulate. So, for example, Karnanya, the Bone Golem, can't increase his Dread. He wouldn't want to. But, you know, like, the Shade can't increase his attack, even though he has an attack ability. That's not the case for the Reaper. The Reaper can upgrade all of his stats. And can't the A-Bomb as well? Almost all the stats. But I kind of wish all of the characters were like this, where you could just choose what you want. You could upgrade everything. Even if it didn't make sense, you could do it anyway player agency and all that. Whereas Santu is our hyper carry, and my gut would be to say, my gut would say, give her all legendaries to off the bat. Like the first one, not our good old Laparka here. But she doesn't actually have any more avenues to really spend. Like we'll be dumping points in evasion, sure, but it doesn't do anything for the most part. You know, enemies, we're encountering a lot of enemies with 150% or more accuracy which just completely negates our 31 evasion. And luck, sure, you could say that luck is helpful, and it is. I mean, putting points into it. But either our ultimate ability always crits, or I'm using fate to guarantee the heart piercer crit to do obscene amounts of damage. That makes sense? I hope that made sense. Each round gained 12 wrath. I'm not sure which is. Let's try that. Now oh. I will make oh. the mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Can I scythe every turn with this setup? <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the mana return, but let's give it a shot. I want to see this. I think I'm going to drop this on this guy. That's a lot. I think I'm going to kill the Zealot as well, because there's no penalty for me doing so. Rivers will run red. So, boop. And, ah, uh, nope. There's no champion or anything, so. Delay. Alba. One thing to note, though, is that the the bride strategy with the the sharpened bone, blah 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 blah, sharpened bone, uh, spam, bloody rose. That's kind of somewhat being devalued. Kind of? Madness what if I wait? Manifest. What if I wait again? 
because we are killing something, you know? Perish. With the, the whole finger of death, scythe their head off. We are killing something, so we're like removing something from the pole. The pool to be uh, shot. So in a way, we're kind of devaluing it, but we're also using it in a different way. So, I mean, we're not, but we are. That's a little complicated, actually. The more I think about it. It's kind of like a macro efficiency calculation thought. But anyway, I do really like that I can do this. See this three block, two ward? Don't care. I didn't see it either. I do really like doing that. That makes me feel good. This is Suflatas. Um, I could scythe, or I could do something else and then fates. Nah, we'll just scythe it up. Wait, hold on. This is at fifty percent. Death. Okay. Suffering I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot how high that scales with the hourglass. Oh, that's funny. Enchanted Heart. At the start of each round, the minion restores 5% of its maximum vigor. Don't like this. I don't think this is enough. I don't think 5% is enough. The symbol of fortune. Minions gain 13 luck and minus 13 accuracy until the battle ends. And blood. Well, that was fascinating. I kind of want my other thing back, though. This. Ah. Uh. I really like the Archmage Pendant. I like it a lot. I mean, it might not even be worth it anymore, though. Oh, I don't need to distill. I can Calcinate instead. Give me that mana back. The downside, of course, to killing things with the Finger of Death is that I don't get any mana return for doing that, you know? I'm expending mana. Um, I'm going to do this. Can I? I really want this chest. I also want this ult. Let's do it. For science. I'm pretty sure I can go this way. Yep. I think the way you can tell is that if something is beginning to scale up like this, then you can click on it. But you can't if it's going down in any way. Like, if you came over here, you couldn't go through this path because it's descending. They usually don't have a path that descends and then goes up at all. And you can take paths that are, like, uh, horizontal. Yeah, but anyway. Champion. Ugh. Inquisitor, Elite, Zealot, and Standard Bear. Let's smash. I, uh, I don't feel bad at all, by the way. of my Finger of Death usage. Death. My liberal Finger of Death usage. <laughs> this never gets old. I don't feel bad about it at all. I don't know if some people consider it like the cheese, which it kind of is, but I almost feel like I've needed it. Is it a cr- oh, ow, I just realized what was happening. Is it a crutch that I've come to rely upon? I don't know. Do I care? Also no. I think you can do it. I believe in you. La Parca comes for you all. <laughs> oh, I've created a monster. Ow, okay. Overconfidence, slow, insidious killer. I get it. Ah, your frail bodies fail you. I get it. Let's back up. Let's go back. <laughs> I don't like you, lady. I don't like you at all. 
You're mean to me. You're really mean to me. That's my buff. I put so much work into that. Alright, Satu. Oh, that's awkward. Does Ignition do double damage on me? It seems like it's a lot. I also need my mana back, and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. I guess this will work. Death. I also recover quite a bit of mana at the end of combat, so... My kingdom comes! Oh, really? Ten hit points. That's fine. Oh, I figured out how to reclaim my mana. <laughs> you just gotta do it yourself sometimes. 201. Jesus. A predictable outcome. Alrighty then. Moving along. Suf Latas. We can max your armor in one more level up. One more. Hey, Kirvets. Show me the way to victory. Oh. I forgot to name you. Show me the victory. I guess technically we don't need experience anymore, so. Hey, the funeral coin. You were kind of listening. The funeral coin. I guess it'd be best on Satu, but of course I don't want to remove this. I like this a lot. It's so convenient. I almost feel like I'm being spoiled by it. <laughs> I wanted to just attack with our Reapers, that person that had full block. But uh, yeah, it increases crit damage dealt by 30% and reduces crit damage received by 30%. It's the superior version of the Nails of Pain, which are 20% instead of 30%. And you can stack them. I've done that before. It's good fun. Someone gets an upgrade. I guess it's Satu. What are we doing with your upgrade? My dear. Too loud. Now do. All right. Final combat for today. Elite champion, cavalryman, and elite standard bearer. I have the weakness potion. Do I want another one of these? These are always fun. With knowledge and will comes victory. Hmm. 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 Kind of want to put a Berserk Potion on Satu and see. Oh, I didn't equip the Tome! Whatever. It'll be there for next time. Well, I think we've... Uh, we've appropriately avenged... Our fair lady of Isolith. Not only... Have we come up with a new composition that does not involve her. But we have slain many a champions. We have changed our strategy specifically because of her. And I think we're the better for it. And that's all that I can really ask. <laughs> Let's try this instead. Did that count? I'm really tired of you trying to knock me it back, brah. Death Do you see what I'm doing? Ooh, not bad. No, you don't. You don't see what I'm doing. I'm definitely not about to do what I've done a lot. <laughs> as worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. I'm not ashamed. 
I wonder... Ugh, you're hurting me, bro. Only 64 damage. Wow, that hurt. I wonder if I'm going to have to lean on this in uh, Eternal Harvest 5. Just like constant finger of death. Make the ultimate finger of death composition. Because I'm just a scrub. A scaredy cat scrub. Not well though. A sad display for more. Oh, the unholy kind. water. Increase the radius to spell power by 25. And the golden rose. For the first two turns of battle, all minions deal 25% damage. Now, interestingly enough, that would incentivize Satu to not use Adore Him on turn one. Because, of course, she only has two turns of plus 25% bonus damage. But, I mean, probably worth it. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. With how much we're now spamming out mana, I kind of think this might be worth, but I mean... Eh. Eight mana. Leparka can recover that with a breath. No big deal. Ah, Suflatos. <laughs> Max armor. There we go. I only used one more resource for it. <laughs> but yeah, I think the Reapers, if you are using a Reaper, I think they demand the highest quality items you have just because of how much ridiculous points they have to spend. They have so many points. I mean, in a way, it's nice, right? Like, Satu is basically done. Like, I'm just leveling up these, I guess. I can get six more luck. Wow. Marvelous. Hey, show me the last spirit piece. Thank you! Wow, the game listened for once. The Imprisoned Souls. After victory, Eratus recovers plus 40 mana for each enemy that fled. I don't... I don't like fleeing enemies. Although I don't know if I misspoke uh, previously. When an enemy flees, you do get experience for it. But you do not get parts because you didn't kill them. I don't know if I misspoke previously, but that's how this works. The Mist Robes. All enemies lose 18 accuracy until the battle ends. This would be one way to help facilitate an evasion build if you were working on it, is minus eight. Actually, minus 18 is quite a bit. That is actually a lot. But, uh, yeah. We're going with the spirit chain mail. After killing an enemy, the minion who dealt the killing blow receives a two vigor buff for the rest of the game. Stacks up to 10 times. Does not trigger when killing a summoned creature. Amazing what they just leave lying around. So, uh, Oh yeah, time to farm that hell. It embellishes mm -hmm. my undead features, no? Of course. Karnania probably won't be getting any stacks of this, unfortunately. The one that benefits the most from it. But uh, La Parca and Su we can... Suflantis and Santu will definitely be getting stacks. And we can try to make it so La Parca gets a few. We are slowly leveling his attack. Slowly. But surely. And remember that the feature is 10% of your vigor. So if you can increase your vigor, you increase the healing that we deal whenever a Reaper gets the healing blow. Getting That would bring our Reapers up to 158. Not bad. 133 for Santu. And I don't think there's no chance Karnadia is getting it. But it'd be 258, which I think is the most in the game. Like the only way to get more I would is to put the Bull Skull on Karnadia and wait the five turns for the plus 25. That's the only way I can see getting more vigor than this. So, we'll try and get Kanania a kill or two, but I don't think it's going to be possible. You do no damage, my friend. But anyway, that was it for today. What do you think about the destruction tree? Part of me kind of wants to go for Reign of Gore. The target receives 35% more damage for two turns. That could be funny. That could be hilarious. Oh yeah, and Mocking Slap. Oh, let's do that. That sounds way more fun right now. Ooh, this there you go. will do nicely. So it deals magic damage, 32 plus spell power stuff. Additionally, deals 50% magic damage if the target is on fire. And of course, Suflatus sets everything on fire, so that could be good fun. 
I don't want Skullfall on our Bone Obelisk. I think we'll then go this way. For the lulls, of course. But <laughs> thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm pretty proud of this. I don't... I was just kind of pacing and thinking about what I wanted to do. And I thought maybe we can make a Grim Reaper survive in the front line. And, uh... Leparka survived so far. We'll see if we can keep that trend going. What? Why do you have more health? Oh, there's an upgrade. Duh. I want to desiccate, that's why. <laughs> okay, enough talk. Bye-bye.